Is now university a full-time university or a part-time university? Do they mobilize their students for NYSC? Is their exams hard? Do they attend lectures? How do I apply for this university? All these questions are what I'll be answering in this video and more. But first of all, let's listen to this. National Open University of Nigeria is an open and distance learning institution popularly known as NOW. It was initially published on July 22, 1983 as Springboard Open and Distance Learning Institution. It was later suspended by the federal government on 25th April 1983 and was later brought back to life in April 2001 by the former president of Nigeria, General Olusegun Obasanjo. Research also shows that it is Nigeria's largest tertiary institution in terms of its numbers. Their admission form is within 72 hours of your application. No jam is required and they also do not go on strike. Another interesting thing about them is that they offer their students updated study materials. They also have different study centers in each state to help crop the barrier of distance. All courses offered in the school or by the university is approved by the NUC, National University Commission. The aim of National Open University of Nigeria is to provide education for all, filling the gap created by conventional universities through cost effectiveness and improved economic skills. It was founded to meet the desire of older and young people who desire to attend a university or get a degree. The motto of the school is learn at any place at your own pace. Admission forms are now available whether you want to apply for undergraduate studies, postgraduate studies, that's PGD, or masters, or even PhD. You can visit their website at www.ng.edu for more information or to make your application. So now that we've cleared that out of the way, let's now get straight into the questions of the day. I got a couple of questions. Since I started posting about National Open University of Nigeria, I've been getting numerous questions on my post on my videos um there's a lot of questions to be honest so i decided let me just do a sit down video answering all of these questions now i have written down these questions on my writing pad on my notepad some of the questions i got off youtube which i feel like would be relevant to this video and i will be answering all of that now the first question says, is now university a part-time studies or a full-time studies? Now university is never a part-time study. It is a full-time online education. Um, their exams are even written um, weekdays. It is not a weekend, Friday, Saturday thing. Your exams are written, in fact, on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, depend on the days your exam fall. And then just because um, studying in the school, you study at your own time, you don't go for classes, nothing, nothing. So a lot of people feel like it's a weekend thing. It's not a weekend classes. Just that most of the people coming to the school are workers. So their tutorial classes are usually weekend because nobody is going to leave their job just because they want to go and attend lectures. So most times they usually organize their lectures Friday, Saturday, some even Sunday, depending on the bulky work of the school for that particular semester or something. So most times, their classes are usually during the weekend and maybe that's why people are thinking it's a weekend lecture. It is not a weekend school. It is not a part-time school. It is a full-time study. Another says, do now students go for lectures? Attending lectures in now university, it is your choice. Nobody is holding you ransom like the conventional universities that if you attend lectures, there's a certain percentage to your assessment. No, attending lectures in now university is not compulsory. It is your choice. If you know that you, are, you can read by yourself, understand by yourself, no problem. All you need to do is just wait for your test and assessment and then do it yourself. Nobody is holding you ransom to attend lectures. Attending lectures is strictly your own business. And the main reason why tutorial classes was even created is to help some students who are finding it very difficult in some subjects or in a particular course just to assist them in the areas they are facing some challenges. That's it. 
attending lectures is not by force i don't even attend lectures i only attended lectures in my first year that's 100 level first semester and that's because i wanted to know what the school was all about i wanted to know what how they operate every single thing and that was why i attended lectures so aside that i have not been attending lectures and i'm in my third year i'm doing well my course is not that tedious i'm not saying it's not difficult but it's not that tedious it's something that once you put your mind to it you are definitely going to succeed in it the next person is asking how do i apply for now university now university is a very simple thing you can visit their website at www.now.edu and then everything you are looking for is going to come up there is a very straightforward thing it's not a difficult thing i tell people that it is the most simplest thing i've ever seen online that once you just impute www.now.edu.com every information you're looking for students portal admission new session all of that just appears on the system and then you choose whatever information you are looking for is very very straightforward and all you need is just to have a five pass courses in your wire whether you're using wire gce napti no jam is required nothing it's just for you to go to their website and apply it's as simple as that if I graduated in now, will NYC mobilize me for a one-year compulsory service scheme? I got this question more than 10 times. See, I've said that in my previous video that as at the time I made that last video and as at the time I am also making this video, now student, that's National Open University of Nigeria students, do not go for NYSC. They are giving exemption letter now i've gotten question like uh um, someone told me that they are going for service um i saw on google that they are now going for service my brothers my sisters as at the time i am making this video now students do not go for nysc is still on the table of discussion it has not yet been approved so don't let anybody deceive you or don't let anybody fraud you all in the name that we are now going for nysc we do not go for nysc maybe later in the future they can start going for nysc but for now now students do not go for nysc another person is asking will my certificate be comparable with those from conventional universities of course it will because the same um, body that approved conventional universities is the same body that approved national open university of nigeria and that is the nuc national university commission they are the ones that approved it so your certificate is the same thing there is no discrepancy there's nothing like ah because this person went to conventional university your certificate is not the same that's not true what are some of the challenges of non-university? Ah, there's quite a number of challenges, but let me just mention two. One of the challenges I feel non-university have is insufficient hard copy materials. Now, when I, when I say that, I mean like when you apply for the school, you finish your course registration and every other thing. Now, it's time for them to give you study materials. Now, in hard copies, sometimes you hear that they have only three courses available. That's if you're offering eight subjects, for instance, they'll be giving like only three textbooks or four textbooks, and the rest, they'll ask you to do and sort it online. The good thing is that all the materials are available online but not all is available in hard copies and we all know that it's not everybody that likes to study with their system or to study with their phones most of them or 90 percent of persons even me i like to study um with hard copy you know? so most times or what i usually do is that i print it out like i print out my materials and then spare buying them and i study with it or i put them on my laptop because i feel like my laptop is a whole lot bolder so it's much more easier for me to study from my laptop so that is the challenge i feel like they have insufficient hard copy study materials another issue is network oh my god 
network is another biggest problem that we have when it comes to national open university of nigeria to be honest sometimes you might just be on the site and network will just go off on you and sometimes you might want to be doing something or you have something really important you want to work on and it just goes off on you so is a lot like is a lot it's very very annoying like very very an annoying i remember there was a time we wanted to do our assessment together as a group the network was just misbehaving we have to do it at night in fact we have to sacrifice our sleep to be able to do our assessments it's now a private university now it's not a private university now it's a federal open and distance learning institution it is not a private um owned university is a federal owned university next person is asking me why did i choose to go for online education that's national open university of nigeria and that's because as at the time i made the decision that's what's best for me that's what is more convenient for me as regarding to I work so I was looking for something that will not interfere with my job so that was the best option for me and most of my um, colleagues some of them graduated from there and they also recommended the school for me I also made a video explaining in details why I decided to go for now university I'm going to leave the link in the description box or somewhere in this video so you can watch it after you watch this video is now exams hard please is there any exam that is simple please if there's any somebody should hint me because there's no exam that is simple there's no exam that is hard it's just the interest you put in it my own opinion though it's just the interest you put in it if you put your mind to a particular exam you try your best you study hard ask questions all of that i feel like you're going to do well even if you don't come out to the highest grades you're going to do well so writing exams depends on your interest i remember last semester i got a d in a particular course not because that course was hard to be honest but because i don't have interest in like from day one, immediately I saw that I was going to be doing that course. I just said to myself that this course is hard. And because I have programmed my mind to it, it was not entering my head. <laughs> Thank God I didn't even feel it because I had a D on it. So I don't think that there's any exam that is hard. And I don't think that there's any exam that is simple. It is the effort you put in it that matters. How do you stay motivated in now investing, knowing that you study all by yourself? Um, I'll say having a good support system that's having family friends and colleagues that stick by you that Believes in you that encourages you. You know, sometimes when you're doing things all by yourself There's just that one or two persons that If they are around you or if they tell you that you can do it or by the time you want to give up on a particular something those people are just there to tell you my dear you can do it if you can start it if you can come this far then you won't give up you cannot give up at this point in time i have this colleague of mine that sometimes when i tell him that oh god i'm tired he said you cannot be tired though eh tired for what no you can't be tired that's not the agreement he starts to remind you why you started in the first place um the decision you took the reasons like every single thing it starts to let you know why you started the advantages he makes you understand and then you just come up again so i feel like having a good support system is one and having people that believe in you and then you have people that also look up to you you know when you have people that look up to you, you want to do your best in a particular thing so that those people that are looking up to you will not look at you and get disappointed so i feel like having a very good support system is what has kept me up until now to be honest <laughs> another person saying what is the biggest challenge in online class i think i have answered that network issues is one of our biggest challenge in an in the online school sometimes you want to study network is misbehaving sometimes you want to do your assessment you have to wait late nights at night all of those stuffs to be honest network i'll just say network 
what do you like about now university i like the fact that i can study at my own time i like the fact that even though there are deadlines to some things but there is no much pressure like there's no much pressure on me that i have to study i'm, I'm doing this uh, if i don't do this this lecture will come after me or this will come after me i like the fact that i have to study at my own time at my own pace study anywhere i want to study all of that like i just like the fact that study is at my convenience what are the basic essentials of online classes basic essentials do you mean the basic things you need to um be in an online school or to be in an online class one you have to have a laptop there was a time i made a video saying that your phone can do the job for you but i feel like when you have your phone you have you can be a whole lot distracted so why not use your laptop like for me what i do is on my laptop i don't even do anything youtube with my laptop i don't even watch any movie in fact my laptop is strictly where i study once you see me in front of my laptop is that i'm studying or i have one or two things i'm working on so I don't have anything to distract me so you have to have a laptop you have to have different colors of pen to highlight to give like highlights um some basic things that you don't want to forget when you are studying having a laptop colors of pen writing pads and then just keep water close to you so that you don't have excuse to stand up from your table <laughs> can i use now certificate internationally of course you can i have a friend who is in the uk doing her masters she's a senior colleague of mine she's doing her masters in the uk and she graduated from now university so yes you can how do you balance work and study and also creating youtube videos planning <laughs> once you plan everything goes well for you but if you don't plan you just find yourself everywhere doing nothing but once you start planning you you're like um you know what to do at every given point in time aside planning having routines that work for you is also something that is really really nice because when you have routines you know in the morning i have to do this at noon i have to do this like i just have routines that work for me and then i plan myself sometimes my planning is on a daily basis sometimes i just take my time and plan on a weekly basis then on a daily basis i just like sort of remind myself what i have to do in a particular day so planning and having routines is how i have balanced my life both my work life my study life and every other thing that i have to do okay these remaining questions are like a very advanced one this person is saying, how do I get in touch with a project supervisor assigned to me during projects? You have your meals. They give you contacts. Once you go to this, in fact, you can be lucky that your project supervisor can be in the same city with you. And then you can be unlucky that it's not in the same city with you. But you can use your meals. When my auntie was doing her project during her master's, it was with her mail she just sent messages to her mail and then through her mail she also um sent her chapter one chapter two all of that and the lecturer will definitely reply you as long as he knows that he's your project supervisor in fact before they contact they've already contacted him so that's not an issue i'm a student slash applicant i forgot my password how do i get it back go to the school go to the school and make your complaints and they will definitely attend to you in a situation where a person is sick or something happens that he or she cannot continue with his or her studies at that point in time what happens to the person's education okay let's say for instance you are sick and then you could not continue with your education at that point in time you are now heal and healthy and then you want to continue with your studies just go to the school and tell them you want to continue from where you stop you can provide evidence that you have been sick that's why you left your studies for a particular period of time and you continue from where you stop sometimes they'll tell you to make your complaints or send someone to the school 
certain that ah, i cannot consume my skin in fact even sometimes when you don't even have money to continue you can put your school on hold and then after you have regained yourself or you now have money you cannot come back and continue with your studies so these are the questions that i have and i have answered them to the best of my knowledge i hope this video was helpful to one or two persons out there if there are questions you still have in your head or in your mind that I did not answer, please leave it in the comment section and be sure that I'm going to answer them. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed. Leave a comment in the comment section below. If you don't have a question, comment below. Share your thoughts with me on National Open University of Nigeria. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.